Hi everybody, this is Devin here at Predatory Plants. This is going to be the first video in a series we're planning of hybrid features, where we're going to look at a Nepenthes hybrid that we have in the greenhouse, and then we're going to look at the parent plants for that hybrid, and uh, you can see where certain traits come out and, and basically how additive genetics play out in Nepenthes hybridization. So this is Nepenthes spathulata by Singalana, which is a cross that was released by Borneo Exotics several years ago. This is quite a nice plant that we like a lot. As you can see, it's got a really cool toothy peristome uh, that's nicely flared as well. And the pitcher body is just this remarkable dark color, um, almost black. The peristome is black. Uh, and the, the rest of the pitcher body is kind of a, a blackish, uh, blackish brown with speckles. So if you look over here, this is a big female Nepenthes spathulata. That's actually the same genetic individual as the parent plant uh, in the cross I just showed you because Borneo Exotics has a single female individual clone that they sell. So this is a freshly opened pitcher. As you can see, it's bright electric green um, when it's first opened. But as it gets a little older and the pitchers age in, you get some of that dark coloration in this peristome that you, uh, that you saw in the hybrid there. Um, this plant is pretty big and one of the things that you notice with hybrids of Nepenthes spathulata is that they maintain the pitcher shape of the parent plant, the, uh, the seed plant, pretty well, which is also true here. You've got the winged uh, uh, ribs here, the alas, and uh, this kind of hip that, that is very distinctive of Nepenthes spathulata right there on the pitcher, and the peristomes are fairly well developed. The pollen parent is Nepenthes singalana belly ring, which is probably my favorite form of that fairly variable species. So, singalana belly ring has really sharp teeth here up on the neck of the pitcher. Uh, it's got more color than the uh, Borneo Exotics female spathulata. It's uh, more of a reddish dark color, and so you can see how that led into the color of the hybrid body. Um, it's got somewhat similar shape in terms of pitcher shape to the seed parent. Uh, Singalana and spathulata are pretty closely related. Um, in terms of leaves, Nepenthes spathulata is so named because of these spathulate leaves right here that look like a, a wedge or a, a spade is what the name is developed, uh, the name is derived from, excuse me. Um, they're a little bit narrower here on the Nepenthes singalana and pretty intermediate on the hybrid here. Um, so that's, uh, I, Josh has a better eye for leaf shape than I do. Uh, I'm <laughs> obviously better on pitcher shape and color. But it's pretty cool to see these plants all lined up. One interesting thing is that the color of the peristome here of the Nepenthes spathulata seems to have translated all the way down into the pitcher body because the pitcher body on the hybrid is much darker than it is on either the pollen or the seed parents. And so that's kind of curious. Uh, another thing is that there's this big flare that came out in the peristome, which this plant holds, because this is not a brand new pitcher, um, that's not quite present in either of the parents. And so there are weird genetic things that crop up in hybrids, uh, and we've seen that in some of our own in-house breeding. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that hybrid feature. Uh, we're going to try to put these out fairly regularly, but uh, this is Nepenthes spathulata by Singalana. Nepenthes spathulata, and Nepenthes singalana belly ring. These plants are all from Borneo Exotics. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to see more videos like this, and uh, go ahead and suggest videos you'd like to see, other hybrids you'd like us to look at, and uh, if we can do it, we will. Take care.